When I was a kid, I visited Chinatown in Chicago, and I saw in the window hanging ducks, hanging chicken, and it freaked me out. Hong Kong, the food, the language, the people. How do you say hello? Hello. 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 Most originate from China. More specifically, the Canton region, home of Guangzhou. This whole region is famous for its unique breakfast offerings. And one of a kind succulent roasted meats. Did you know you could eat an entire big ear? But this is Hong Kong. And here, they do things the Hong Kong way. From extreme dim sum you've never seen before. This is like the Nike pumps of the chicken's foot. And I'm gonna eat that right now to body parts you didn't study in ninth grade biology. Who's the guy blowing into these? Today, we're diving face first into the culinary traditions and restaurants that help shape the food culture of Hong Kong. Now, it is morning time, tons of people eating, dim sum being carted around, tea being drunk. Uh -huh. Welcome to Lin Hong Tea House. This place first started in Guangzhou over 100 years ago, finally expanding to Hong Kong in 1996. It's one of the oldest dim sum joints in the city, and man, this place is good. Dim sum literally means like dishes made from the heart, so to speak. And so at this tea house, we're doing very traditional dim sum. When it comes to food in Hong Kong, how much of it is Chinese and how much of it is unique to Hong Kong? Majority of our time, we do eat Cantonese cuisine. Cantonese cooking is one of the eight Chinese culinary traditions, and it's one of the most international of all Chinese cuisines due to the large number of Cantonese immigrants. Some of the most popular Cantonese cooking methods are steaming, wok frying, and roasting. Most of what we're trying today is it Cantonese? Yes, yeah, and right now we're doing dim sum. Dim sum is a type of traditional breakfast and a favorite among Hong Kongers. It starts with tea. This meal is all about the tea, really. So you pour it for people first, sure. usually the most senior person on the table, so your grandpa or... Am I older than you? Definitely. <laughs> then the food comes to you. Steamed, fried, baked, they've got it all. <laughs> on my hit list today, two of the most unique dim sum creations I've come across. First, pig liver shumai. Slices of blanched pig liver are seasoned with salt, sugar, ginger, and fried garlic oil, then placed atop a shumai, a Chinese dumpling filled with pork and shrimp paste. Next, steamed chicken feet with black bean sauce. This unusual gelatinous treat is poached, then deep fried, then boiled for an entire hour. Both get a heavy dose of steam until they're piping hot and ready to serve. Here we are. What is this? This is the quail egg siu mai. Oh, this is a quail egg. Yeah, on the top. So the base is the same. Pork, oh. mushroom, and shrimp base. It is land, sea, and air in one dish. Wow, it's like a Cantonese breakfast in one bite. What would you call that texture of that shrimp? It's got some density to it. It's like a spring or a, like a bounce. Yeah, it's like a mattress, a springy mattress. Boom, I got a chicken foot. Many places you go to in Asia and get chicken feet, they're still pretty tough, especially you go to Vietnam. They're really chewy. Wait, is there a bone in there? Mm-hmm. What's up with these boneless feet? They have bones. 95% deboned. Here, they steamed it. The skin is kind of swollen up. It's saturated with water and with sauce, and it just peels right off. Yes, it is bite, and then it comes out. I nailed it. This flavor is fantastic. The texture itself is kind of sticky. You can feel a lot of the collagen in the skin of that. And then what, I eat the pad now? Yeah, you eat the pad. Oh my God, it's so delicious. One I've never seen in a dim sum restaurant before, pig liver show my. This is not a one biter. Oh, liver? Okay. It's nice, it's like a liver pate, 
Except it's hard. There's a hint of ginger, not gamey at all, but it has that certainly that organ flavor to it. I'm gonna munch some of the show mine now. Mmm. Do you like the clear lake one better or the pink liver one? This one is new. I mean there's like a lot of iron to it. <laughs> but this is a great texture. It has a little bit of greediness, right? But it's not too hard. I love it. Super unique. No matter what they call it. walk by here, what is the first thing you see as you enter the restaurant? All of the hanging poultry. Right, I mean. so for the longest time, I never tried any restaurant like this because of seeing chicken heads and duck heads, and it's probably one of the biggest mistakes of my life. This is Loom Key Restaurant, open for the last 40 years. They are masters in the roasting arts, using methods unique to Cantonese cuisine. Roasted duck, chicken, suckling pig. It all happens in the tight space of this kitchen. Sir, how long have you been here? Two so, years. Oh my god, you speak English. Meet the barbecue master. He has a saying, what starts well, ends well. This Chinese proverb is the reason the pig keeps its shape from beginning to end. Why do people love this so much? Crispy skin. And the meat is good and tender. Do you ever feel bad about that they're baby pigs and they didn't experience enough of life? So he says that they sacrificed their life to give us good food, so we should appreciate it. Absolutely, and we are going to appreciate it very soon. So what is suckling pig? Aside from not being the most popular dish among vegetarians, it's a young piglet that's never eaten solid food, only subsisting on mother's milk. These are generally served at special events. The one we're getting today costs over $100. The entire pig is first sauced up with sugar, salt, Chinese five spice, and some other ingredient they won't tell me. He applies a concentrated sugar vinegar mixture and sends Piggy home for 30 minutes. What does it take to be a proper barbecue master? Use your heart, dedication, patience. I usually use my stomach, and then that gets me in trouble, so more the heart than the stomach. Finally, the finishing touch, hand roasting, ensuring each square inch is evenly cooked. Chop, 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 and then put it back together again. This is what I love about the style here. Not only do they keep the head, they embrace the head. So you're like, that was definitely not a chicken or a fish, this was a pig. Yeah. What is your favorite body part here? The skin. Do you know skin is the biggest organ of the body? Yes, we're gonna eat more skin. So oh, did you know that, skin. really? Yeah. Oh, okay. From Grey's um, Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh, 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 oh. And there's some bone on there? You know, just eat it and then just have all the bones come out afterwards. So crunchy. A little bit fatty. Mmm, that's like pure fattiness. It's super rich, super crunchy. You can see here, there's some rib section. Any bones on the bottom just kind of peels away. This is really, it's all it's about hard. the skin. Yeah, it's all about the skin. And the crunch. Mmm. Hong Kong is so compact. I don't think there's any pig farms here, right? No. Like all this is being imported from somewhere. Where do you think this pig grew up? So this pig grew up in Vietnam. Oh, Xin Chao. You can try it with the sugar now. You just dip it in the sugar? Mm. Is that eatable? Just put it in your mouth first and see. <laughs> it brings out the fattiness of the skin. Whoa. I feel like I'm eating like a sugary bacon. That's always yeah. a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they think it was weird that we tried to order a whole pig? No, they don't judge. <laughs> That's what I need <laughs> in a restaurant. So how much do you think we'll finish? Oh my God. I'm gonna bring this back with me on the plane. Our next location, right here. Listed in Michelin Guide's Best of the Best in Hong Kong, Yu Key Restaurant has held its ground for 60 years with roasted meats that are quite literally to die for. We are right now in the goose roasting room, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, why'd you laugh? <laughs> this family-run restaurant was started by Mr. Wu Chunyang. Now, it's in the hands of his daughter. What is special about your marination? And where does that recipe come from? Uh, my dad, my father all the time saying, oh, this one, how to cook, this one, how to cook. And then just put this, put that, uh, put. Just from yeah. here? Yes. From farm to table, everything is kept in the family, ensuring the highest level of quality from the gooseling to the dinner plate. Each goose is stuffed with a mixture of sugar, Chinese five spice, salt, and dried shallots. The bird is soaked in maltose water to help give it its golden color. But before roasting, this gaggle needs to hang in a drying room for six hours. Now it's time for action. 
Each bird is placed in the oven with precision. Three ovens, ten birds each. The rest must wait their turn. You, you can accept the hot, you can do this job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> After an hour, they look like they just spent a week on the beach in Cabo. Chop, 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 plate, and eat. We've had an amazing time already taking a look at the restaurant here. Thank you so much. Welcome. Let's eat. Oh, what an honor. So I'm getting a little bit of everything here. Yeah, she wants you to taste the different textures. Can I use my hands? Yes, can be. Oh, yes, it's so fatty. Tons of protein, skin. Cheers. 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 That is to die for. It is rich like a fine chocolate, except it happens to be a goose. There's a little bit of a charcoal. Like a hint of smokiness, mm. deep savoriness, somehow very complex flavor. Mm. That is outstanding. So this is the wing. You can see some protein underneath, but honestly, it's all about this skin here. It's some of the most saturated, juicy, kind of explosive skin I've ever tried. Oh man, it's so rich though. <laughs> I've always wanted to ask, as all the experts say, that is there a difference between a boy and a girl goose? You got Oh, there is a difference. So if it's a boy, it has more meaty flavor, but the meat it has a, more of a texture. But if it's a woman, the meaty flavor is less, but it's more tender. What is this one? Hang on, man. Boy. It's, it's a, a boy. boy. <laughs> it's pretty tender Congrats, to me. It's a boy. It's a, a sensitive boy. Maybe. This is one of the best birds I've ever had in my life. No doubt. How did you find this place? Most locals will come here after the hike. That's the thing to do. You gotta eat it here. She's saying, I gotta eat these yeah. ankles. <laughs> That's a good ankle. Before parting ways with this city, I have an opportunity to try one of the most unusual ingredients I've ever come across. You brought me to an aquarium. Yeah, you want a fish? What is this place? This is a hot pot place. This is Happy Together Hot Pot Restaurant. How happy? You'll find out soon. This place is new, only one year old, but the tradition of friends and family gathering around a bubbling hot pot goes back generations. I heard we're gonna have some unique ingredients for the hot pot. Yes, we're gonna do black beef tripe, we're gonna do goose intestines, and we're also gonna do the fish maw. You may be wondering, what is fish maw? Well, this is actually the fish's swim bladder, the part that helps the fish float. Who knew you could eat that? But this unique organ is as premium as sea cucumber, bird's nest, or abalone. You can feast on the dried out version or cut it fresh from the fish. Who's the guy blowing into these? Who's putting <laughs> their lips on these? Oof. In a pot, they place half a chicken on a circle of melon, along with bamboo, cabbage, mushroom, yam, goji, leeks, and Chinese celery. Once they pour in the broth and it comes to a simmer, the meal may begin. Before we jump into this, on the side here, we have a bunch of crazy side dishes. Yeah. Uh, why do they bring us so much duck blood? Maybe they think you need more blood. <laughs> okay. What's this purplish one? It's beef tripe, so normally you see beef tripe white, but the natural form is black. Oh, it looks purple to me. Next. Goose intestine. And there's some like fatty parts in there? The stuff from the intestine. Sure. And then... Swim bladder. It's very coveted, it's very expensive. For this one, just for two of them, is gonna be 108 Hong Kong dollars, so about $15 US. It's so rubbery. <laughs> My what? favorite. All right, I'm gonna put that in. Bloop, there we go. This is the fresh kind, straight out of fish. Should we put that in too? Yeah. Bloop. Oh, they're like life preservers. <laughs> so <laughs> so what they'd normally do is they probably would poke it first. To oh, yeah. okay, yeah, do your thing. Okay, I, I don't. So we could also eat um, the goose intestine. That takes about 10 seconds for it. Yeah. Okay, let's do that So. First. When you know it's cooked is when it either changes colors or it shrivels up a little bit, so mine's probably done. Mm. <laughs> I think mine is sashimi. <laughs> That's looking much more cooked, yeah. huh? Mine's really hot. That's really good. Cool texture. I find sometimes hot pot in Asia can be equally about interesting textures and flavors at the same time. And that is has a very unique kind of organy crunch to it. Yeah, organy crunch. That's a really good term. Thank you so much. <laughs> so this is the stomach of the cow. Oh man, it's so spongy. That's fantastic. You know, and these are foods that would maybe scare people in yeah. the West. But that's because they haven't tried it. Once they get over that, or if they don't know what they're eating, then.
and it's okay. It's really in your head. And here, the taste of the broth is so rich and all yeah. enveloping that each ingredient kind of just soaks up the broth and then That's offers exactly a different kind of texture. Yeah. This is my first time having a fish air bladder. Let's try it out. That's a big piece right there. Hmm. What do you think? Cool. It was crunchy and gelatinous, but man, that was pretty fishy. It's like this fish had a, a muffin top, and I just pinched it and then ate it. Um. <laughs> I don't have a comment for that. Oh, yeah, my second bite is better. Mmm. My second bite just tastes like a thick lasagna noodle. Okay, I like that. I'm down with that now. Okay. So remember this one from earlier, guys. It was super rubbery, and now it's, it looks pretty rubbery still. And that is the same body part, but it's now been even rehydrated even more. Mmm. You like that? That just tastes like odeng. Yeah, like Japanese fish cake. But much more expensive, I think. <laughs> I don't have enough money to cover the cost of the show. <laughs> Virginia, I think we've done it. We've tried so many different and unique foods. I learned today that a lot of food in Hong Kong, it's about bringing people together, you know? Having a, a reason to come around a table, join each other, have some conversation. Yeah, you know. people love to eat and chat. That's what we do. And even though Hong Kong is hot all the time, right, during the summer, all they do is crank up the AC and we even hot pot during the summertime. Oh, that's awesome. Hong Kong. These are the people who helped build the food culture of this city into what it is today. A cuisine so renowned that it's been exported and adopted around the world. At the moment, there's no telling what the future holds for this city. But folks here are strong and adaptable. And these are far from the first hardships faced here. Whatever does unfold, the people of Hong Kong will always find a way. There's no doubt history is being made right now in Hong Kong. If you're planning on visiting the city, I suggest you enlist the help of Virginia and her tour company, Humid with a Chance of Fish Balls, to make the most of your time. From food tours to private tours and all the help you need navigating the city. And be sure to check out our second channel, More Best Ever Food Review Show, for raw clips and deleted scenes that didn't make it into the show. That is it for this one. We will see you next time, guys. A peace. Oh, dude, what a brutal situation. Brutal day.